I, I know that you mentioned a couple of books, but I would like to know in end uh, any books you will recommend to our audience to read, to learn about agile management or just generally in life, the, yeah. the book which influenced you most. All right. We'll start with this Excellent. one here. Wow. Mm. So, um, so one of the things I like most about this book is it's data driven. And so mm. the history of it is that, uh, there have been these annual DevOps surveys for many, many years now. Right. And um, the surveys themselves, you know, by, the, by themselves, they're a good source of data. But of course, the, uh, the people that had this data were looking at it and saying, you know, there's probably some important conclusions we can draw from this. So they hired a data scientist named uh, Nicole, Nicole Forsgren to basically work with them and you know, comb through all that data and ask, you know, actually ask, what does this tell us? So what they came up with is a really powerful summary of uh, getting back to our metrics conversation of mm. what are, what are what are the things that you know actually matter the most when it comes to you know successful companies. So that's that's one of the things I like most about that book. Now, if we talk about development and agile context, this one called the Art mm. of Agile Development. This is, by the way, this is actually coming. The second edition, I think, is coming out soon. This okay. Is, this is the first edition, which was published, I believe, in about 2008. Mm. But um, one of the things I like about that book the most is it really does a great job of tying together the XP technical practices with just the bigger picture of Agile itself. And so it's really got a nice perspective when it comes to, all right, what is, how do you get started with continuous integration or... You know, how do you kind of evolve it if you're already doing it? So it really goes, you know, into a good level of depth on technical practices. So I'd recommend that one. For Kanban, you may actually know this guy from your days at Microsoft, but uh, but this is a very practical book. Who is the uh, author? His name is uh, Eric Breck. I don't know if I'm pronouncing yes, it. Yes, Eric, Eric Breckner. Yeah. I actually interviewed him for this oh, uh, yeah? show uh, two oh. shows back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's got he, a... He's a great guy. Yeah, yeah. He's got a he's got like a nice uh, video uh, lecture where basically he's just kind of walking through what what Kanban looks like, and he's doing it in the sense that he's he the lecture itself is making the Kanban board, where yeah. his his process of question and answer, and the book itself is much the same, where it's very practical. You know, these are right. some simple simple steps that you can take. Yeah, and shout out to Eric is a. Uh, he was teaching Kanban in Google office, mm -hmm. being a Microsoft manager. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he was a director of engineering learning in Microsoft. So I think he trained, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dev manager mm -hmm. and dev lead. He's yep. a great manager, a great person. Mm -hmm. I spoke to him twice. Uh, I interviewed him twice. One for this master of technologies, uh, mm -hmm. he interviewed two, three weeks back. If you'll go on the, uh, the uh, YouTube, you'll find his interview there too. Mm, nice. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's great. Here's one on Scrum. So there's so many books on Scrum. I chose this one because it speaks more to the product management perspective. Ah. Mm. So, so the author, Roman Pickler, he writes extensively about product management in agile context. And this is one of the better short summaries that you'll see on the topic. Of course, mm. uh, Henrik Nyberg has a wonderful short video called Agile Product Ownership in a Nutshell. You can, you certainly should check that out if you haven't seen it. It's, it's, it's sure. great. Uh, but mm. yeah, this, this book is a nice overview of Scrum and kind of, you know, how you make sure you're, you're finding the value behind what you're doing and delivering that. And then lastly, I would be remiss if I didn't mention this book about retrospectives. So, mm. You know, when we, when we talk about retrospectives being the key to continuous improvement at the team level, this is what we're talking about. And so this, this book by Dana Larson and Esther Derby, it really is the one that a lot of people still go to if they need ideas, you know, for right. doing retrospectives. And so it's a great, it's a great summary of what a, a successful re retrospective can look like and, you know, examples of techniques you can use. Awesome, awesome, good. So thank you very much, Phil. I think this book recommendation is great. People should go and read through the book and hopefully we'll see how the comments come and if people wants to talk to us more uh, about Agile and want to you know, deep dive into any of the subject, we may come back to you. 
and thank you again um, very much for taking time to speak to us and thank you for helping me in my current company where uh, you left i think about it, more than a year but still we are following a lot of your practices and i do miss you many times when the you know i see there's a dysfunctionality happening in some <laughs> team and people are fighting about things i think oh man if i can get phil again here <laughs> he can fix those things so thank you very much i really appreciate your help thank you rafa my pleasure <laughs>